Who was the last person you kissed? I just kissed a, um, a mannequin in a thrift shop. Um, this girl in Philadelphia. Why? It was for TV and the mannequin had red lips and beautiful eyes. She was very cool. It was very much like a spent, met her and uh, Tut just kind of chopped it up and talked for like two hours. And then it was just kind of like a, she was grabbing her cab and a quick like goodbye type of kiss. What was your biggest fashion crime in high school? Probably size 38 jeans. Very bad. I'm a 31, 32, so they were massive jeans. Yeah. That's a long list. I, I've gone through phases. Prior to high school, I mean, I, I was the dude in Jinkos when I was young. Jinkos are the huge jeans that are like massive. By the time I was in high school, I completely flip flopped. I wore girls' jeans for a while, I was in a metal band, I had long hair, and I went through that whole phase. So you could, you could go down the list of fashion mistakes. Who was the last person that made you really mad? <laughs> uh, what, one of the people on our crew last night um, for the show. A guy on our crew last night at the New York show. What did he do? Uh, not doing his job right. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to call him out, but it was challenging. What nicknames have people called you? Uh, Big D Bendo. Um. Up until I moved to Seattle, I moved to Seattle when I was 15. My best friend's name from fifth grade was also Ryan. So I went by my last name for a whole portion of my life. I went by Lewis, R.L. Stein, Little King, which is what Ryan means. Um, all those names. Rye is probably the, the biggest one. What does that mean? You got to know me to find out. What was the last movie that made you cry? Ooh. Um, that's tough to answer. I, I don't know. And the last movie that made me cry was Fern Gully in 1992. You've cried since then. It's the last time I cried. The last time you cried at, at a, a movie, movie was Fern Gully. Yep. Call to that. Didn't yeah. you see Beaches? I don't even think I've seen Fern Gully. 